hello friends welcome back one of the most and uh, major challenge in ui automation is this that whenever there is a ui change happen how can we fix all locators because generally what happens like let's say recently we have changed this selector sub ui so whatever locators were there some of them have started broken some of them might have changed some are not changed but it becomes like really tedious task to verify all of them one by one like here suppose this much piece of code let's say i was having for my website and now because ui change has happened because of that some locators have changed how can i make sure that like uh, which all have changed because i don't want to copy one by one and verify them so how can we do that in like just in few seconds so here in selectors of pro we have this feature selectors healing for that what you have to do just go to that particular page there are simple two three steps let me just show you first go to that page for which you want to verify all the locators like suppose uh, these locators are from that page so what i will do i will just go to that page open that page here open selectors of pro and click on selectors healing feature and now here i will paste that particular piece of code without like just segregating x path or selectors from the command no you just paste complete code here and whatever is the command that i will set here so right now my command is driver dot find element by dot name or by dot x path whatever that i will keep it here and submit you see it has fetched all the x path and other selector from the code and showing the matching node like for this css selector x path x path id 0 css selector class name and all those things so whichever is matching it is showing the matching node whichever got changed it is showing zero now it becomes very simple for me just edit and fix those click on edit button it will copy and paste the value here and fix those locators and selectors isn't it amazing it's very simple and straightforward if your code in like you are using some other uh, format or some other framework like let's say this one by keyword name is equal to by dot x path by dot id something like this then in that case what you have to do simply copy this particular code go here click on select se selectors healing if you have already opened then there is an edit button click on this paste your code and here you select this command by dot selector value and submit you see it has fetched all value and it is showing matching nodes and which has changed simple now let me show you more uh, real time example because this was like just a piece of code i have written for demo purpose now let me just go to this navin automation labs github repo and here you see that he has uh, created some amazing frameworks and pages with the real time scenario so first i will show you the selenium pages so suppose this is account page card page register page any of them we can open like first let's go to the register page and now we will open that this registration page so let me just open this registration page here okay so this is the registration page on this website now what we will do like simple just open selectors up pro here click on selectors healing copy this complete code you need not to like even segregate the uh, remove the import statement and all class everything you just pay, copy the complete piece of code come here paste this complete code here and whatever is your command what is your command here by dot id and inside that we have written the selector so what is the logic here you have to just add this command by dot wherever your selector name that keep it as selectors and wherever value that we have value and just submit you see it has fetched all the value out of that and it is showing the matching node of course this is not logged in so log out it is finding zero if it would have been logged in then it in that case other will be zero and this will be one so here it is showing all the matching node and whichever is changed isn't it amazing let's take some other example for cypress and playwright as well so that you will be having more confidence let's take the playwright one so suppose here any page we can take in take login page let's say so here we will copy this complete piece of a script and come here 
click on edit button paste this code and here you see that here we have private string and then this uh, keyword name for the locator and locator value so here you will see that in the drop down pretty much each and every permutation combination you will find so this is private string keyword name selector and is equal to value select this and submit boom it is finding all of them and showing which all locators got changed so that we can click on edit and fix them here you can verify and then fix it isn't it simple and then once you are you have fixed it and then you, you can go back and change in your script this is playwright one now we'll go back let's say a cypress example also we will cover suppose here we cover these uh, add to card paste for an example so here there are like few locators here very few locators let me take some big page for example register page yeah so there are many locators written here now what you do complete copy this complete script wherever selectors will be written in your script it will automatically fetch them come here and this is for register page so yes we are on register page click on add it and paste this complete code here this is for cypress so what is the command cy.gets click here in the drop down box and select wherever is this cy dot this is here and submit so here you see that all the selectors and locators has been verified for the cypress as well so irrespective which framework you are using which uh, automation api you are using like selenium cypress uh, playwright web driver io or any other customized framework you are using for all of them it will be uh, working you just have to paste complete code and set the command all the commands pretty much you will find it here if anything uh, like not there any command not there that you can add it and all the instru instructions and everything will you will find it here if you miss ever anything you can always watch the video tutorial here for the detailed information and here in pro version you would be able to verify all types of selectors like xpath css selector id name link text it will fetch everything if you are on free version that's where it will just verify xpath uh, from your complete script while here in uh, pro version it will verify everything whether that is id class name css selector or whatever to get started with selector sub pro you just have to go to selector sub website and uh, check it out here it's pretty much very very cheap almost just a coffee cost so that you can check it out and here you will just three simple step to start get started with the pro version so yeah that's what uh, that's pretty much for this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed. Please let us know about this feature, how you uh, found it and whether it is useful for you or not. And if you find it useful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And let others know about these amazing, incredible innovations. Thank you. Thank you so much.